How's it going guys? It's Tony Sauce. Thanks for checking out the video. I have a really good video for you guys today. It's going to be how to win face-offs and I'm also going to be showing you guys my advanced strategy and like my thought process on when I'm lining up for a face-off and like what I'm doing against opponents in the neutral zone, the offensive zone, the D zone. So it's going to be a complete guide. We're going to be showing you like all the different face-offs, more for like the beginners, the counters, and then at the end, we're going to be showing like an actual in-depth strategy and like your thought process for when you're winning these face-offs. I tend to think that face-offs are some of the strongest part of my game. I, I wish that I could see my percentage this year, but it's got to be close to like 70%, dude. Like I'm, I always do so good on face-offs and I have a pretty solid strategy. So let's get right into the video. All right. So to start out the video, I'm just going to be showing you guys like the different face-off combinations and their counters. Feel free to take a look at this checklist or this, this spreadsheet, whatever you want to call it. Cheat sheet. That's it. That's it. Cheat sheet. Real quick, guys, when I say counter, the counter does not rely on your face-off rating, okay? If you counter, it does not matter what your face-off is. I have tested this out. I My fourth line is, like, I don't even have a true center at my fourth line. It's my enforcer line. My dude has, like, 55 face-offs, and when I counter successfully in the defensive zone to defend a tie-up, he wins the face-off. So counters do not matter about your face-off rating. That's why I've been saying recently, like, I don't really care about using quick draw anymore. It was good at the beginning of the season, but like I don't even run run that on my team anymore because I'm countering most of the time on my face-offs. So just keep that in mind that counters are really powerful on the face-offs. Take a look at the cheat sheet and memor try to memorize it, but I'm going to make it more simple when we go over the uh, the actual face-off strategy because I don't do a lot of these. There's only like a couple face-offs that I actually do and there's certain times when I do them. So the first face-off that there is is the backhand back. I'm going to show you guys that real quick. It's the most basic um, face-off. You just line up backhand and then bring the right stick back. It's the most basic face-off, okay? If you and your opponent both do backhand back, it's going to go based on who has the higher face-off rating. If you both have the same face-off rating, then it's going to be a little bit of RNG right there. Also, like, you know, your internet connection is going to factor in as well. This can be countered by doing a forehand tie-up and a backhand tie-up. So a tie-up is basically you just line up for the face-off with the right stick. And instead of moving the right stick, you actually move the left stick up as if you're, like, going to skate forward. This will have your player initiate, like, a tie-up animation where he'll skate into the center, kind of tie him up. All right, I'm going to show you guys the backhand tie-up real quick just so that you know what it is. So you line up backhand and then left stick forward. He'll basically skate into the player allowing your winger to come and pick up the puck. Now, this is a really good cheese play in the offensive zone. As you can see, I just won the faceoff, and Kachuk, the winger, comes in, scoops up the puck, and gets basically a perfect shot on the goalie. It's very cheese. So remember, the forehand tie-up and the backhand tie-up will counter the backhand back. Next, we have backhand up. I'll show you guys what that looks like real quick. So backhand up is you line up backhand, and you put the right stick up. He'll basically do like kind of like a stick lift animation where he'll stick lift and then win it back. It's different from the tie up. The tie up, the tie up is left stick up, backhand up. When I say backhand up, I'm saying right stick line up and then right stick up. Okay, right stick up. So the backhand up can be countered by forehand up and backhand back. And then finally we have backhand tie up like I showed you earlier. This can be countered by forehand back or backhand up. So that's what the three backhand face-offs look like. We also have the forehand face-offs, which is pretty much the same thing, like, you know, forehand back and then forehand up and forehand tie up. So it's the same thing, but you're just lining up on the forehand. And then you can take a look at the counters here. Forehand back can be counted by forehand up and backhand up. Forehand up can be counted by backhand back. And forehand tie up can be counted by backhand up and forehand back. Face-offs are almost like a rock, paper, scissor mini game. Okay, there's, a, it's, it's a lot of just, like mind games and guessing what your opponent's gonna do. The only skill in it is trying to like outsmart your opponent. All right, now getting into my strategy. So what I do is I always line up backhand and I'll see if my opponent is lined up forehand. If my opponent is lined up forehand, I almost always do backhand up. So backhand, right stick up because it beats, I, I see that it beats the, the forehand face off so much. Like if, if we look right here, 
backhand up will beat forehand back and forehand tie up. So that's two thirds out of the face offs that they can do will be successfully countered. The only way that you'll lose that is, is if they do forehand up. And yes, that happens sometimes, but there's only a 33% chance of them doing that. You know, there's a 66% chance of them doing either forehand back or forehand tie up. So if you line up backhand and you see that their forehand, backhand up is gonna be your move. I'm sure I'm telling you, bro, it will win a lot of the time. So I do different things for different zones. So starting off with the neutral zone, I'll always like I said, I always line up backhand. And typically with the neutral with the neutral zone face off, I'll do backhand tie up or I'll do backhand back if I'm using a player with good face off. So like if I have Gretzky out there with 98 face offs, if I have Sakic out there with 99 face offs, typically I will do a backhand back and see how they respond to it. But neutral zone faceoffs like aren't as important as a defensive zone or an offensive zone, so I will typically go backhand back. Um, but I, a lot of the times I do do backhand tie up, especially if I'm using Barkov who only has 94 faceoffs. I'll do a backhand tie up right there. I do find that backhand tie up is more of like a 50-50, unless you get countered. You know, a lot of times I just find that they both try to like fight for the puck and it's kind of just up to chance right there for one of the wingers on either team to pick up the puck. Now, like I said earlier, I always line up backhand. If I'm in the neutral zone and I see them line up forehand, I'm going with a backhand right stick up, okay? Telling you, bro, that works a lot. Now, next is the defensive zone face-offs. This is the most important hands down. Like I showed you in the beginning of the video when I did that tie-up in the offensive zone, that's a cheese play that everybody's been doing recently. If you lose to a tie-up in the defensive zone, your play, the opposing player is going to come in with the winger and get a perfect shot on net. I'm telling you like 80% of the time it's a goal. So I always defend the tie-up in the defensive zone, okay? Backhand up backhand right stick up will prevent the forehand and backhand tie up. So it's it's almost like an automatic tie up prevention, okay? So I always do backhand up when I'm in the defensive zone. Now if they start winning it back, I'll start I'll be like, "Okay, you know, maybe this guy doesn't really know about the the tie up cheese." Then I'll start doing backhand back or backhand tie up. But something that they can do is with, with which is what I do is like when I'm in the offensive zone, I start, I used to always do the backhand tie up, but now what I've been doing is since everyone's preventing it, everyone's countering backhand tie up, I've been winning it back, like the first three offensive zone faceoffs I get. And then they start letting their guard down against the tie up. So after like three offensive zone faceoffs where I'm winning it back, then I throw them off by doing the backhand tie up. Remember, backhand tie up is line up backhand, left stick forward as if you're skating into their center. So that's a really good strategy. Is in the offensive zone, I start by winning it back a few times, and then once they let their guard down on like the third or fourth offensive zone face off, then I do the uh, the tie up. And I'm telling you, it works like a charm, bro. It's a, it's a great mind game. So going back to the defensive zone, if someone is winning it back, you kind of got to be careful there because like they could either be a bad player who doesn't know about the tie up or they could be trying to throw you off like I do. So it's, it's kind of like a, all right, like they're winning it back. They're not trying the tie up. I could try to win it back, but if I, if I try to win it back and they do the tie up, then I'm kind of fucked. So something you can do to prevent this is doing a aggressive face-off setup. So when you go line up for the face-off, I think you press like a circle to change. You basically want to like line change, pull up the thing for line change so you can change your strategies. Um, I think if you press L, it's either L1 or R1 will allow you to change your face-off uh, face play. If you do aggressive, it will move your defenseman from behind the center over to the left wing. So you'll have two guys on, well, left or right wing, doesn't really matter, depends on what side, but it'll basically move the defenseman that's back over to the strong side winger. So like if you're on the right side, it'll move that defenseman in front of the goal, so you'll have two guys there. I have noticed that this does help prevent the losing a tie-up, but at the same time, like it's not 
perfect. Like there are times where like I get tied up and I have two guys in front of the net, but he still gets a good shot off and scores. But you know, like I said, it, it is a little bit better to have more players in front of the net to help get that traffic and help prevent, you know, p potentially block a shot or some shit like that. But overall, the most important thing is when you're in the defensive zone, you got to do backhand up backhand right stick up to prevent that tie up see how they respond if they start winning it back a few times then i'll do backhand back or backhand tie up but it's so important with everyone trying that tie up cheese goal you gotta defend the tie up so that's like the most important thing of this video like i don't really think it's that important to memorize all these counters i think it's just important to know that you know backhand back is the most basic this one is is mainly off of your face off rating if you both do fit backhand back it's gonna go based off the face-off rating. And then the one you really wanna know is that backhand up will prevent the tie-up in either direction. It'll prevent the tie-up forehand and backhand. So that is super, super important. And another thing to remember is when they line up forehand, backhand up is a great move because it beats two out of three of the forehand face-offs. So the only, if you go backhand up, the only way that they'll beat you if they line up forehand is by doing forehand up. So you will notice that if they line up forehand and you go backhand up, it will win a lot of the time, okay? That's basically it. Just remember those few things that I told you and then remember that offensive zone strategy I do. I, I start by winning it back because everyone's preventing the tie up nowadays. So I start by winning it back the first few times. Then when they let their guard down, then I'll do backhand tie up. That's going to be it for the video, you guys. I really hope this helped you out. Make sure to like, comment if this video helped you. Subscribe if you want to see some more content. And follow me on Twitch. I got the link down below in the description. We just released my Power Forward theme, Episode 2. And Episode 3 is coming out within the next couple days. And Episode 3 is banging, dude. We do our first Rivals game with the new Power Forward theme team. And it was super fun. Huge upgrades to the roster as well. So that's pretty dope. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. See you guys in the next video. Peace.